hi guys welcome to my channel and today we will be making haitian stew fish or in creole poisson na sauce Right, let's get this party started all right the first thing i do i do want to apologize for the video being so long but i really want to show you guys how to properly clean your fish okay so what we're going to do is we're going to scrape all of the scales off of our fish when you get the fish from the caribbean store you tell them to clean the fish for you and they do they gutter the fish and then they also take the scale off of them but there are a couple of places and some scales that are always missed so you have to go back and run through it again just to you know cross your t's and dot your eyes and make sure you have no scales in your fish okay so this is the proper way that Haitians clean their fish so the first place you want to look to start scraping is the tail the tail always has some at, at, at um on some scales on it especially at the top part of the scale and at the bottom part of the scale okay and make sure when you're scraping your fish you're not scraping it downward you're scraping it upward so that the scales could come off okay and you're gonna make sure that you scrape the head of the fish okay you're gonna scrape the head of the fish because for some reason that is a spot that is always missed when they clean the fish for you i don't know why i don't know how but i know they always miss that spot all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scrape scrape it and scrape it until we got all of the scales all of off of the fish well all of the scales that we could possibly get off okay and this middle area is always missed as well so you see that's very scaly so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna scrape 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 you want to do this with a blade like the one i have don't do it with the um the the toothpick blades i don't know if you know what i'm talking about when i call them that the prickly blades don't do it with that do it with the soft blade like the one you see i'm using okay and you're just gonna scrape your fish upward and this is snapper okay you guys i'm using two snappers haitians typically eat snapper i don't really cook any other kind of fish when i'm making haitian fish it's only snapper for me okay all right so i'm gonna scrape it scrape it upward until i make sure that all of the scales are completely removed off of that fish okay and we're gonna make sure we do this to both sides of the fish take your time and do it make sure you remove the scales because the last thing that you want the last thing that you want is to have some scales on your fish because you know what people gonna talk about you they're gonna talk about how one time you had gave him this fish and it was scaly and it was nasty and his mama gonna say you can't cook and you need to go back to your mama house because you ain't wifey material all right and we don't got time for them zo mummies to be talking about us like that so we're gonna show her that we know how to clean our fish even if your nails as long as mine they're gonna be surprised because they're gonna say she don't know how to cook but then when they see you scraping that scale off that fish and you cooking that fish like that girl they're gonna be surprised okay because you know what you're doing all right huh all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna scrape that off and what i like to do i like to take uh, my time and rinse it off so that all the scales that i already scraped off could just fall off and be at the bottom of the sink then i go back to scraping it again just to make sure like i said dot them eyes and cross them t's just to make sure that there are no scales on the fish okay we want to make sure make sure you guys while I'm cooking this fish, well, I'm cleaning it right now. Let me go ahead and tell y'all a little story. Um, you know, FYI, I might curse a little when I'm telling this story because that's how I talk to my friends and I consider y'all my friends. This ain't the pet Betty, Betty Crocker show, okay? I ain't trying to be all proper and stuff. I'm just trying to, you know, do my hobby, which is cooking something I like and just share it with you guys. So if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, baby, then that's okay, all right? But let me go ahead and let me tell y'all this little story or whatever. So I'm still scraping the fish. So let me tell y'all how it was my best friend's birthday in August, right? And she live in Orlando and I live in Miami. And I wanted to do something nice for my best friend. You know, go best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. So I was talking to her or whatever. And we decided to get a yacht. It was going to get a yacht. It was going to go, you know, live our best life on the lot, on the yacht. You know, no, no, can't nobody tell me nothing. 
Anywho, so I found this place that is called um, Elusive Rentals. And I was like, okay, they look like they have some nice boats. And the only reason why I even went to that place is because I have a friend um, that said that she went on a boat with them before, with that company before. And it was it was nice or whatever. I was like, okay, then um, I'll see what it's about. So, I, you know, I called them. Um, they told me, I first I sent them an email and I told them I had an inquiry on a boat. And then after that, they told me to call. They provided me with the number and told me to call them. So I called them and um, I spoke to um, the guy or whatever and um, I told him, okay, this is the kind of boat that I want and this is what date I want it for, whatever, whatnot. And he was like, yeah, cool. I, um, I told him to add a jet ski on there because we wanted to go jet skis. You okay? So then um, he was like, okay, the boat in total is going to be $1,600. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we um, it was going to be, and only 10 people could come on the boat. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, Basically, it's, um, you know, 1600 divided by 10. So that's not too bad. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then after that, um, he also told us that we have to pay a deposit. We have to pay a deposit for the boat, for the yacht, whatnot, in order for us to be able to get it the day of, you know? Okay, I'm like, okay, that sounds, yeah, that's what you know. That's what you want to make sure you get your deposit because, you know, people be playing with your money. Yo, that's what I understand. So I'm like, okay, cool. No problem so me and my friends we all came together we put the money in we um we gave him like 875 dollars for the deposit so then after i was supposed to give him the rest of it um the day we're going to go on a boat ride so um on the day we're going to go on a boat ride it was a saturday so um we get in a car whatever we getting ready to go and let me tell y'all how on the way to go to the boat ride the um the guy called me and he like oh um i just want to let you know that we're having problems with the engine on the boat the boat is having some engine problems we have some people we have the mechanics there now working it okay let me stop right quick with the story and go back to this fish because you know y'all ain't here for the story y'all here for the fish so you want to make sure you open inside of that fish okay you guys you open inside of that fish and you scrape that those those little nasty things off all that extra blood we want to make sure we take that off you guys okay all that extra little skin that you see right there we want to make sure we take that off you guys we want to make sure this fish is nice and clean we're gonna take that blood we're gonna scrape it make sure we get as much of it out as we can we're gonna go to the top of the fish where you see the blood at the head of the fish we're gonna make sure we take those parts out they have the two little lines you see them two little lines at the top of the fish we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove those okay when we're done you see how i'm scraping all that blood out of the fish taking all that out and then they'll go to two little lines i'm talking about well this they go ahead and remove that and this is one of the little lines. I'm telling you right there. You see that? We're just going to go ahead and pull it up. And then we're going to go ahead and just pull it out. And we're going to do that to both sides. Because those things right there, friend, they got to go. Okay? We're going to do that like that. And then we're going to grab them. And we're going to remove them just like that. They're not hard. It's very easy to remove. They're not They're not really, really hard to remove. Okay, you guys? Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to scrape the area that they were in. Because they have excess blood and dried up blood. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move that. All that nasty, mushy, gushy stuff we're gonna go ahead and clean that off the fish okay we don't want that business we don't want that business right there we don't want it we don't have no time for that right there you see that thing right there no we don't have no time for it we want it to be clean we don't want it to be nasty okay okay all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna remove this little part right here at the top of the head of the fish it's usually the parts to clean this fish really did a good job because there's it's usually a bigger part than that and you would have to remove it. Just make sure it look like mine. If yours do have that part, you're going to go ahead and remove it if they didn't remove it for you already, okay? And then you see right here the throat of the fish. That's what I call it. I don't know if that's really the throat, y'all. Don't judge me. Judge your mammy. But you see right here, this is what I call it, the throat of the fish. If it's not right, correct me. Let me know in the comments so next time I could be educated and say the right, the, 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 the right part of the fish, okay? All right. So there we go. We're going to go ahead we're gonna put our knife up under there and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um pull it upward so we can remove the throat of the fish you guys we don't want that in um on our food either so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove that all right so just go ahead and watch me remove that while i'm removing that let me go back to the y'all story y'all so um as i was saying he said oh they had some mechanics looking at the yacht or whatever it was having engine problems it wouldn't start blah 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 this that and the third so i'm like he's like oh but we're still going we're just letting you know it's going to be delayed by like an hour and remind you when we pay for when you pay for yachts you pay by the hour so we paid for four hours so i'm like okay um as long as i still get my full four hours that i paid for that's cool so if we're supposed to start at three and we start at four i still want my full four hours 
And he was like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. Yes, you're going to still get all your time, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So then we go, we drive to the dock. And we're at the dock. We, I had brought my friend, uh, my best friend, a cake. I had her, this custom cake made for her or whatnot. Um, I had, we had some liquor, of course. You know, it's about to get <laughs> messed up. We had some liquor so, so we could make some drinks. We had some food. We had some chicken wings or whatever. We was ready to be lit. We had our friends with us. We, you know, it was an all-white affair. But, you know, I'm special. Even though it wasn't my birthday, my best friend said I had to wear white. But I still wear yellow and white because I'm the bride's, um, you know, like when you get married, she's the bride, but I'm the maid of honor. So, you know, I got to stand out too. <laughs> Anywho. So when we get to, um, to the docking um, station, we're there and we're waiting, we're waiting. Um, I'm, I don't see this guy. I'm not hearing from this guy. I'm calling him and it's actually a, a legit business. Y'all, they do have a website, um, and they have an Instagram page and they have a Facebook page and they're on Google and they're called elusive rentals. So then after that, I went ahead. Okay. Back to the fish. So I went, um, when I'm done cleaning the fish, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slice up the fish. I'm going to, um, cut them slanted i'm gonna slit them and the reason why we slit the fish like that is because we want the flavor to be able to get inside of the fish you guys then we're gonna take that fish and we're gonna clean it with some lime and vinegar and salt and um sour orange juice okay i'm gonna have the exact recipe and measurements for you in the description box below no worries you guys you see i'm using a lemon i wanted to let you personally know we don't usually use lemon when we're cleaning our meat we always use limes but you guys when life give you lemons you make lemonade y'all because i ain't have no more lemon i only had i didn't have no more lime i mean i only had like a lime and a half at the house and that was not enough to clean the fish and i was not going to the store so i went ahead and i made it do what it do sometimes when you cook and you have to know how to substitute okay sometimes you got to do what you got to do and what's best for you so i went ahead and i sure used the lemon okay and it was a okay but if you're making yours and you want it to be perfect the haitian way then use lime okay use lime 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 is the green one not lemon which is the yellow one okay so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make sure we squeeze all that lime into the fish into the cracks into the slits all of that we're gonna make sure it is clean we're gonna make sure we take that lemon we're gonna make it um we're gonna open the fish up and we're gonna pass the lemon all through that fish make sure that fish gets some of that lime in that lemon y'all we're gonna make sure not one single piece 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 side up down side to side anywhere of that fish don't get left behind everywhere will be loved everywhere will get touched everywhere will get some of that lime juice okay all right so yeah we got the docking station we don't see dude or whatever um i'm calling him he's not picking up the phone the phone keep going to voicemail um then when he finally called me he like oh no we're having problems we just want you to know yeah we're still going on a boat if we can't get this boat we're just gonna get you another boat and we're like okay we st if we get another boat that's fine i don't mind but um it e it's either gonna be just like the boat i paid for or an upgrade you're not gonna downgrade me for 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 what i paid for you know what i mean all right so um you guys let me tell you how I make a long story short we were supposed to be on this yacht at three o'clock so latest when he said it was gonna take up to maybe an hour was four o'clock this dude kept calling me giving me the run around kept telling me they were coming they never showed up they told us oh um they're sorry all the other boats are busy can we just wait um they promised they're gonna get us on a boat and we were like i'm telling you my friends drove all the way down from orlando to miami to come here so um he was like okay we'll wait or whatever he was like okay can you guys just wait till seven you guys it's four o'clock and they're like wait till seven so we had some patience we was like we're gonna wait we waited till seven you guys seven this guy's like oh i'm walking to the dock we at the dock the dude is nowhere to be found an hour later at eight o'clock is when he's like oh we're here we're here no he wasn't at this point he wasn't even there at this point i was like yo dude i just want my money back you know i just want my money back it's over i don't even want to go on the stupid y'all no more i'm straight i'm cool off that whatever i'm straight off that like give me my money back so then he's like okay da, da, da. you guys i'm gonna tell you how this dude never gave my money back and right now it's still like in dispute i reported to the better business of bureau um i'm thinking about contract channel 79 news um 
I'm really thinking about filing a lawsuit, but I don't know yet. So you guys tell me what you think I should do. And um, the name of the place is called um, Elusive Rentals. So I'm just letting you know for your experience, if you come to Miami, make sure you stay away from there. You know, I don't warn you. So if you go ahead and want to go book with them and be stupid, that's you. Because I don't told you what it is. Okay. So if y'all want some receipts, I will show enough get y'all some receipts at the end of the video. All right. All right, so anyway, back to the fish. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all. He, girl, they, man, let me tell you how they blocked my number. When I was calling them, asking them for my refund, my call kept going a voicemail. So I'm like, what the hell? And let me remind you, I got two phones, okay? So I'm like, okay, let me call them on my other phone and see. When I call them on my other phone, they picked up the phone. So that lets me know they're purposely avoiding my call, you guys. So, yeah. Anyway, so yes, we went ahead and we cleaned up the fish with the lemon and the lime and all of that good stuff, whatever. And then we rinsed it off, you guys. All right, don't forget I'm going to have the exact recipe for you in the measurements below. After you put it in that salt and vinegar water, you could let it sit there for about an hour overnight if you want to, if possible. But if not, then you know, just let it sit for about 30 minutes and rinse it out. Then go ahead and season your fish. So now I'm seasoning my fish. I added a half a cup of it piece and I added some maggi. If you don't like to use Maggi, I will have in the description box some things, some other spices that you could, you know, substitute the Maggi for if you don't like to use Maggi, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that air piece and I'm going to, that's that Haitian marinade, okay? If you don't know what Haitian, what air piece is, I am going to have the exact recipe for you well a link to the recipe in the description box below so don't worry i got you boo all right so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take that fish we're gonna make sure it gets some air piece in there we're gonna make sure that fish is well seasoned well coated with the seasoning and we're gonna mix it around to make sure that all of the fish gets some of that seasoning and that this fish is going to be delicious the bomb dot com all right and when you're done seasoning the fish, you could let it sit overnight if possible. You know when marinating any kind of um, meat, you know it has to um, stay overnight if you want the best results. But you know, and that's in the perfect world. Sometimes it don't work like that. Sometimes you get off from from school, from work or whatever, and you got to whip, whip up something in the, in the kitchen right quick, you know. But if you have the time, just let it sit overnight. I was able to let mine sit overnight and um, I just covered it up, put it in the refrigerator. And then after that, um, it was staying there for 24 hours and then I used it. So this is how Maggie used you guys. This is how Maggie look, you guys. You know, I wanted to show you guys just in case you don't know what Maggie look like. This might be your first time watching one of my videos. If you don't have a problem using Maggie, this is how it look like. It's going to say hard and crumbly. The one I use look a little different because I got mine straight from Haiti. But not everybody will have access to the one in Haiti. And sometimes I even don't have access to it. So I use that other one that you see I have. Okay. So now I have my pot and I went ahead and I added some oil to the pot. And I'm going ahead and I'm adding some tomato paste, you guys. You see how I'm using that little spoon for that little bit, that little spoon for that little bit. Don't don't use those little spoons when you're cooking in a big pot like that because you're too close to the heat and you could get burned. OK, safety first, you guys. OK, it's better to use a big spoon like the one you see I'm using. I hate watching like people cook and they're using like a, a little spoon to cook like food. It, I don't know why it, it, it bothers me so much, but it's like my little pet pee. Like, girl, if you don't get a real spoon and cook that food over here playing with that little spoon. I don't like that. Mm mm. So I went ahead and I add a little bit of water or whatever, and I'm going ahead and I'm letting that tomato paste fry in that oil and cook in that water, okay? And then when it starts looking like this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the fish, okay? This is the fish. It's been seasoned overnight, you guys. I'm going to let add the fish, and I'm going to let it cook a little bit just like this, just like that. That air piece that was in that bowl, we're not going to throw that away. We're going to go ahead. We're going to add two cups of water into that, and we're going to make sure we take all that excess it piece okay after the fish been cooking for about for five minutes already we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add the water with the it piece in it okay all right and make sure you see how i'm keep moving my fish around like that that's because i don't want the fish to get stuck to the bottom okay that's why i'm moving it around like that then i went ahead and i added some parsley and thyme time together tied together and then i added some butter okay you guys i like to add coconut milk to my fish it is so good if you man i'm trying to tell you right now that thing right there oh lord it's so good so i added a half a cup of coconut milk okay if you haven't tried it friend try it i'm trying to tell you but if you don't like coconut milk for whatever reason I don't know who don't possess you and make you not like it but just don't add it okay but i love it 
So I went ahead and I added a half a cup of coconut milk and then I added some Maggie as you can see. If you don't like Maggie, you can add some salt. This is when you would add your bon um, bonnet peppers, you guys, but I like my fish to be a little spicy and I didn't have any bonnet peppers. So that's why you see I'm using that Calypso sauce that I have because it's spicy. So I'm using that as a substitute. Okay, I will have it in the description box if you want to use it. But if you don't want to use it and you want to just stick to using your bonnet peppers, then go ahead, baby, because that's what I would have done if I had my bonnet peppers is I would have used the bonnet peppers. But like I said previously, sometime in the kitchen, you have to learn how to substitute. Okay, you ain't going to, I ain't got time to be running to the to the store every time I miss it in one item. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, you could keep that right there. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to let that fish cook. And don't forget to flip your fish, you guys. You eating both sides of the fish. So you need both sides of the fish to cook. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip it over. And we're going to let the other side of the fish cook. And I also went ahead and I cut up some bell peppers and some onions. And I cut them in a circular motion because um i wanted them to be circles because i feel like as a garnish is just prettier when they're circles like that but it doesn't make a difference to the flavor so if you don't cut them like that that's a-okay and if you um i don't even like red onions i only put them because that's the onions i had and the other onions i ran out so if you don't like red onions or you like the other onions yellow onion white onion you could use whatever kind of onion you like okay whatever you so desire okay so this is the ones that i use and i put them in there and then you could cook it for how long you want so you know some people like their onions to be soft some people like their onions to be very crunchy some people i don't know what some people you know it's whatever me i like mine's a little bit cooked i think like when it's too crunchy it's kind of nasty but that's just my opinion and there we have it you guys just like that we have stew fish the haitian way okay um so in creole we call it um poisson sauce okay all right you guys it don't get no better than that thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe there you guys go with the receipts if you see a part where i'm talking about um send me the email confirmation after the first time when i said i had got it they had made a mistake and put it for the wrong date so they had to resend me the um, email confirmation and they did do that part that part they did do and but they never we were never able to get on the boat so like i said i'm just trying to tell you for future references don't book with them save yourself the hassle don't waste your money and the name of the company is elusive rentals and they have a face gram and insta book um instagram and they are on google all right thank you guys for watching Bye bye